a man and woman looking at a tablet computer. Veterans with disabilities are mission-focused employees. Next, Carla Samayoa, Director of Navigation Services 211 San Diego. From my experience, hiring the right person for a job, whether they have disabilities or not, is all about their skill set, what they are passionate about, um, their experience, and what they're able to contribute. Cynthia Maranaccio, Employment Specialist. Veterans bring a lot to the table. They are dynamic game changers. Jim Fander, General Manager, Akron Rubber Ducks. With the work ethic, the benefit they bring to our company is so substantial. Customized employment works for veterans, a win-win strategy. Now, Abby Cooper, National Subject Matter Expert. Customized employment is based on the principle that um, you can find somebody employment through figuring out who they are first and what tasks they want to do for pay and where they're at their best. John Funk, Bob Hope Veteran Support Program. So when we approach an employer, it's all about advocating for the veteran or service member that we're supporting so that the employer will understand what this individual is going to be able to do for them to increase their bottom line. Elsewhere, Bob Simonovich with Ryan Might, Employment Specialist. Abby Cooper. What customized employment does is it works with employers to identify unmet needs they have that highlight the veteran's contributions and thus the veteran's in a job that fits him or her. Robert Smith, Navy veteran employee, 211 San Diego. Cynthia was my uh, agent that I had and I worked with her for several months and she was able to do something that I couldn't do on my own was peel back the onion and really deep dive into my transferable skills that I had, soft and hard, that I forgot all about. Cynthia Maranaccio, Employment Specialist. I worked with Robert very consistently. I just took time to actively listen to his concerns and help him dig deeper into what his passions were and what he was good at. The 211 San Diego website, Carla Samayoa. 211 San Diego is a central hub for the community here. Robert Smith. I am the military uh, services supervisor and I'm in charge of a group of military veterans, the Courage to Call Department, that help military veterans and active duty personnel seek out assistance. Carla Samayoa. Robert brings a lot of creativity. He's a visionary leader. He's incredibly organized. His role is really providing the leadership to our staff, ensuring that we're at the right tables in the community and setting the, the path for what we, where we need to go. Robert Smith. This job impacts my life uh, several ways. One, it gives me fulfillment and I feel like I belong because now I'm back with a group of veterans. And also, it helps me think about things that I can give back to the community. Carla Samayoa. We don't necessarily look at disability, we look at past experience, we look at the skill set, we look at where they want to be, and does that align with where 211 is going? And Robert was an excellent, excellent fit. John Funk. I think the key things that service providers need to understand when they're working with somebody that's seeking employment is that they have to approach that individual as an individual with no preconceived notions about what they should do. Bob Samonovich, Army veteran. I discovered that I'm capable of uh, doing a job that I've dreamed of all my life, you know, working in, in baseball. Sitting in a baseball stadium, Bob Samonovich with Ryan Might. Jim Fander. Before I even met Bob, Ryan and I had many conversations about what skill set he had. He's been our official scorer, he's been our stringer, and then of course he runs the pitch clock as well. I'm still young enough I should be working, and with this, I'm still working and, and I'm giving back to society. Jim Fander. We can't wait for another opportunity to be able to bring another veteran here to the ballpark because it's just the drive and the passion. When you can match that with what they love to do, that's what makes it great, and that's what makes having an employment opportunity like this such a benefit to the club. For customized employment resources, visit drivedisabilityemployment.org. For more information about the Office of Disability Employment Policy, please visit www.dol.gov ODEP. References in this video to any specific commercial product or service, or the use of any trade firm or corporation name, is for the information and convenience of the public and does not constitute endorsement or recommendation by the U.S. Department of Labor. Now graphics appear. Department of Labor, Office of Disability Employment Policy.